we will crochet this cocoon shrug. This shrug is made from a square using cable stitches. The written pattern and the timestamps have been linked in the description box below. The cardigan can be made in any size that we want and the fit is very loose and comfortable. It is much easier to crochet than it looks and this is a step-by-step beginner-friendly tutorial. Hello and welcome to Let's All Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy. To crochet the shrug or cardigan, we can use any super chunky weight yarn that we want. That is any weight 6 or super bulky yarn. So this is similar to what I am using and it is called Bernard Softy Chunky. So this yarn is 100% acrylic yarn. It has 100 grams in a skein and 99 meters of yarn. So you can use any color you want. This is a jade shade and this is a natural color shade. So I'm going to leave all the details with the amount needed in the description box below. So we're also going to need an 8 millimeter size crochet hook. Now if you're using any other yarn, just use a hook suitable for your yarn size. It is okay to use any yarn for this project because the size is easily adjusted. We will need a scissors, measuring tape, tapest needle and stitch markers. Now let's begin. So this is a schematic of a shrug. We are going to start from the center and then make rounds and move outwards till we reach the size of the square that we want. Now we can start with a magic circle or a chain 4. So I'm going to start with a chain 4 but I have linked a very easy tutorial of the magic circle in the description below and on the top right of the screen in case you want to see. So once we finish making our entire square, we are just going to fold it in half. Now we are going to make armholes. So we will mark a stitch marker here and here. This is going to be a armhole and this is going to be a armhole. And from the bottom, we are going to start sewing till we reach the stitch marker on this side as well as on this side. So last we will just open up the shrug and then add a border for it. The shrug is a square so the length or the height and the width are the same. So we can make this in any size that we want. We are going to measure from our neck to above our knees or however long we want our shrug to be. We are going to write it down. So we will continue making the square larger till we have the size that we want. So on the screen I am leaving some general sizes. You can decide how big you want your shrug to be. So for the chain 4, we are going to begin with a slip knot. You can make this however you want. Next, we are going to chain 4. To chain, we are going to yarn over and then pull through the loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. So we have made 4 chains. Now we are going to join by a slip stitch to the very first chain that we made. So this is our slip knot and this is our first chain. So in this chain into the top loop, I'm just going to insert my hook like this. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through this loop and then pull through the loop on my hook. So we have made a ring. This is the center of our ring. Now be careful, you don't make this the center of your ring. So this is our very first chain and we will just tighten the slip knot to close that chain. Now find the center of your ring and this is where we are going to work. Round 1, we are going to begin with a chain 3. So yarn over and pull through 1, 2 and 3. This is our first double crochet. If you have started with a magic ring, I just want to show you this is what your ring will look like and you will start with round 1 in the same way. Chain 3, yarn over and pull through once, 2 and 3 and this is our first double crochet. So now the rest of the pattern remains the same whether you start with a chain 4 or a magic ring. We are going to make 11 double crochet in the center of the ring or the chain 4. Now you will remember to work over this tail end as well. So let's see how. To make a double crochet, yarn over, 
insert your hook into the center of the string. Yarn over and then pull through. So I'm working over the tail end as well. Now we have three loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through only two. We have two loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through the last two. So this is our first double crochet. Make the second double crochet in the same way. Yarn over, go into the center, yarn over and pull through. We have three loops, yarn over and pull through two. I'm sorry. And yarn over and pull through the last two. Now in the same way, we are going to continue making double crochet in the center till we have 11 in all. So I'm going to meet you once we finish. I have reached the end of the round. Let's count our double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. And our chain 3 counts as a stitch. So we have 12 in all. Now we are going to join by a slip stitch to the chain 3. So this is our first chain, this is our second chain and this is our third chain. Into this third chain, we will insert our hook and join by a slip stitch. So before we join, we can tighten our ring by tugging on this tail end. Now we are going to join by a slip stitch to the third chain. So this is our first double crochet. Right before it is our chain 3, chain 1, chain 2, chain 3. Into the third chain, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. So this is the end of round 1. We are going to round 2. We are going to begin with a chain 4. So yarn over and pull through 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now this chain 4 is counting as a double crochet and a chain 1. So we will not work in the same stitch as the slip stitch. So you can see that this is the stitch where we have made the slip stitch. Don't work into it. Go to the next double crochet. And here we are going to make a double crochet and a chain 1. So in this double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. And now we are going to chain 1. So yarn over and pull through. So this is going to be a repeat pattern for the round. We will go to the next stitch, make a double crochet and a chain 1. The next stitch, make a double crochet and a chain 1 and continue till the end of the round. So let's do this one stitch together. We are going to yarn over, go below both the loops of the V, yarn over and pull through, make a double crochet. Once we do that, we will chain 1. Now go to this next stitch, make a double crochet and then a chain 1. So continue in the same way till the end of the round and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of round 2. This is my last stitch, the double crochet and after that the chain 1 stitch. Now this is the slip stitch of the previous round. After that we have our chain 4. So this is my first chain, my second chain and third chain. This makes a double crochet. We will have 12 chain 1 spaces and 12 double crochets in this round. So we have 24 stitches in all. We had started the round with a chain 4. So this is our first chain, second chain and third chain. This counts as a double crochet. We are just going to join by a slip stitch in this third chain. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. This is the end of round 2. Round 3. Begin with a chain 3 which will count as a double crochet. So I have made my chain 3. Now we are going to go back to the same stitch as the slip stitch which is here. We will make a double crochet. So we are going to yarn over, insert a hook into the same stitch as the slip stitch. So this is our chain 3. You can see that it has a little gap. Go back to it, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. 
So we have made a chain 3 and a double crochet in the first stitch. Now we are going to go to this chain 1 space and in this space we will make a double crochet. So yarn over into the space which is just below the chain 1 stitch that we have made. Insert your hook, yarn over and then pull through, yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. So our repeat for this round is going to be 2 double crochets in all the double crochets and 1 double crochet in all the chain 1 spaces. So next is a double crochet for me. So we are going to make 2 double crochets in it. Remember to go below both the loops of the V. So this is my first double crochet. Yarn over. Go back to the same stitch. Make one more double crochet. And now we have a chain one stitch next. So in this space, we are going to make a double crochet. Next, we have a double crochet. So make two double crochets in this double crochet. Next, we have a chain one space. So in this space, we will make one double crochet. Continue in the same way till the end of the round and I will meet you once we reach there. So I have reached the end of the round. In my last double crochet, I have made two double crochets. And remember that we have a chain one space last. So do not forget to make a double crochet in the last chain one space. If we count all our double crochets, we are going to have 36. This first chain 3 is going to count as a double crochet. So count your double crochets or count all the V's that you see and make sure that you have 36. This is very important before we go to the next round. Round 3 by a slip stitch to the third chain of the chain 3. So this is our slip stitch of the previous round. Above it is our chain 1, then chain 2, then chain 3. This is our first double crochet. Insert your hook into the third chain, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. Round 4. Begin with a chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Now this is our first double crochet. We are going to go back to the same stitch and make one more double crochet. So yarn over. This is the same stitch. We have made one more double crochet in it. Now we are going to chain 2. Yarn over and pull through once. Yarn over and pull through twice. Now we are going to go back to the same stitch and make two double crochets again. So yarn over, go back to the same stitch. One double crochet. Yarn over, go back to the same stitch. And this is a second double crochet. So we have started with a corner stitch. We have made a chain 3 double crochet, then a chain 2 and then 2 double crochets all in the same space. Now we are going to start a repeat pattern for this round. So this is the only round we are going to have half double crochets in because we are turning the round into a square. So this is our next double crochet. We can see that we have worked in the stitch the very next V or the next double crochet, we are going to make a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook below both the loops of the V, yarn over and then pull through. We have three loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through all three. Make another half double crochet in the next stitch. This is our next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over and pull through. We have three loops. We are going to yarn over and pull through all three. After our two half double crochets, we are going to make four single crochet in the next four stitches, one in each. So in this next double crochet, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. We have two loops. We are going to yarn over and pull through both. Go to the next double crochet, insert your hook. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through both. So we have made 4 single crochet in all. 
Next, we are going to make one half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next. So in this next one, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. So in the next stitch, we are going to make a corner stitch. That means we will make two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet all in the same stitch. So let's do it together. We are going to make one double crochet, then two double crochet. Now we are going to chain two, yarn over, go back to the same stitch, make one double crochet and make one more. So we have made a corner stitch. So now we are just going to repeat this pattern two more times. Half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next four. Then half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch. And in the next stitch, make a corner stitch. That means two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet all in the same stitch. So repeat this two more times and I will meet you once you finish. So now we have our four corners for our square. Let's continue the remaining part of the round. So after two repeats, we are just going to continue the pattern as seen. So this is my corner stitch. In the next stitch, we are going to make a half double crochet. In the next stitch as well, make a half double crochet. In the next four stitches, we are going to make a single crochet. So one, two, three and four. Now we have two stitches left. In both of these, we are going to make one half double crochet in each. So in the second last stitch, make a half double crochet and in this last double crochet, we are also going to make a half double crochet. So we have finished this round. So now we have a square and if you want to count all your stitches, between two corner stitches, we are going to have eight stitches. So between these two corners, we will have eight stitches. Between these two corners, we are going to have eight stitches. Each corner stitch is made up of two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. Let's end the round by a slip stitch. Slip stitch to the third chain of the chain three. This is my first double crochet. Right before it is my third chain. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. Round 5. We are going to begin round 5 a little differently with two slip stitches. So first we are going to slip stitch to the next double crochet. So you can see this is where we have made a slip stitch. Go to the next double crochet, make a slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. Now work these stitches very loosely. Now we are going to go to our corner stitch and slip stitch in it. So insert your hook into the corner stitch. Let me show you again. Just insert it into the corner stitch into the large gap. Yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. So we have started with two slip stitches. In each chain 2 space, we are going to be working a corner stitch. So we are in the chain 2 space. So we will begin with a corner stitch. So chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Then we will make a double crochet in the same stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. This is a double crochet. Now we are going to chain 2. 1, 2. Go back to the same stitch and make 2 more double crochets. 1 and 2. So we have made an entire corner stitch in chain 2 stitch. So after the corner stitch, we are going to make a double crochet in this next stitch. Be careful you don't miss this next stitch because it tends to hide below the corner stitch. So in the very next double crochet, make a double crochet. Now we are going to chain 1. Skip this next stitch and double crochet in the next. So we have worked in this stitch, skip the next. In the next stitch, we are going to make a double crochet. So 
So after this double crochet, we are going to double crochet in the next 7 stitches. So we made a double crochet in this stitch, double crochet in this next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet in all the stitches. So we should have 8 double crochets in all after this gap. So this is my gap and I have made 8 double crochet. So we have 2 double crochets left. We are going to chain 1, skip the next double crochet and in this double crochet we are going to make a double crochet. And now we have reached the chain 2 space. Here we are going to make the corner stitch. So 2 double crochets, then chain 2 and 2 double crochets all in the same chain 2 space. So now we are going to repeat this pattern 2 more times. Double crochet after the corner stitch, then chain 1, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next 8, chain 1, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. We will reach our chain 2 space. In this space, make a corner stitch. Repeat this 2 more times and I will meet you once you finish. After repeating 2 more times, I have the remaining round left. So we will just continue the same pattern till the end. So this is my corner stitch. Make a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 1. Skip the next stitch. Double crochet in the next. Double crochet in the next. Double crochet till we have 8 in all. So after the 8 double crochet, I have 2 stitches left. We are going to chain 1. Skip the next and into the last stitch of the round, we will make a double crochet. This might be a little difficult to work into because these were our slip stitches. At the end of the round, we are going to end by a slip stitch to the third chain. This is my first chain, second chain, third chain. This is a double crochet into the third chain. Join by a slip stitch to end round 5. So at the end of round 5, between each corner stitch, we are going to have 10 stitches. You can count this chain 1 space as a stitch. The corner stitches include the 2 double crochets, chain 2s and 2 double crochets. Round 6, begin with a chain 3 which counts as a first double crochet. Now we are going to go to the next stitch. Make a double crochet in it. Next, we have reached our chain 2 space. So in this space, as always, we are going to make our corner stitch, which is 2 double crochet, then chain 2, 1, 2, and 2 double crochet in the same space. So now we are going to begin our repeat pattern for this round. So from now on, in the remaining rounds, what we will remember is, in all the chain 2 spaces, we are going to make our corner stitches and above all the chain 1 spaces, we are going to have a chain 1 space. So let's begin our cable round. We are going to double crochet till we reach this chain 1 space. So double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And double crochet in the next stitch. So it doesn't matter how many ever stitches we have here. In every round, we will just double crochet till we reach the chain 1 space. Then we are going to chain 1, skip the space, into the next double crochet, we will make a double crochet. In the next double crochet as well, we will make a double crochet. And now we are going to begin our cable stitch. So now we are going to skip 2 stitches and front post triple crochet in the next stitch. So what we are going to do is we are going to work into the post or this little bar that we see of the stitch. So I will show you exactly how to do it. Yarn over twice. So we are going to make a triple crochet or a treble crochet. 1 and 2. Now we are going to skip 2 stitches. Find our next stitch. We are going to work into the bar of this stitch. So we are going to go around this bar. So between the stitches, insert your hook, go below the bar that you are working into and come out on the other side with your crochet hook. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through. 
So we are pulling through this bar like this. Then we are going to yarn over and pull through two loops first. So we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two more. We have two loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through the last two. So this is going to be a little loose and that's okay. We want it to be a little loose. We are going to do the same in the next stitch. So you can see this is where we have worked. Find the next stitch. Yarn over twice. This is our next bar. So you want to go below it. You will go from the front, go below the bar and come back to the front again. Yarn over and pull through. We have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So we have made two front post triple crochet. Now we are going to go back to our two skip stitches and work front post triple crochet in them as well. So yarn over twice. This is the stitch we last worked into. This is our first skip stitch. So we are going to go below the post of the first skip stitch like this. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. I'm sorry. Yarn over and pull through two. Now we are going to work into the second skip stitch. First locate your second skip stitch. These are the first two front post triple crochet we made. Now this is the next one and here is a hidden double crochet where we are going to work our front post triple crochet or this is our second skip stitch. So yarn over twice then we are going to go below this bar. So go from the front below the bar come out back to the front yarn over and pull through. We have four loops on our hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through the last two. So we have finished our cable and now we are going to go to the next stitch and make a double crochet. You can see we have worked in the post of the stitch. Find the very next stitch. Make a double crochet in it. And we are going to double crochet in the next stitch as well. After that we have reached a chain 1 stitch. So we are going to chain 1 over the chain 1. Skip this space and into the very next double crochet, we will make a double crochet. Continue making double crochets in all the double crochets till you reach this chain 2. So I have made a double crochet in the last double crochet, reached my chain 2 space. Here we will make a corner stitch which is 2 double crochet, chain 2. And then two double crochet all in the same chain two space. So now we are going to repeat this pattern two more times. After the corner stitch start making double crochets one in each stitch till you reach the chain one space. Chain one over the chain one space and skip the space. Double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch. Now we have reached our cable stitch so we will skip two stitches Front post triple crochet in the next two. Come back to the two skip stitches. Front post triple crochet in them. After we finish this, we are going to make a double crochet in the next two stitches. Then we reach a chain one space. So chain one, skip the space. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And make double crochets till you reach your chain two space. In this chain two space, we are going to make a corner stitch which is 2 double crochet, chain 2 and 2 double crochet all in the same space. Repeat the pattern on this side and then on this side. I will meet you once we reach here. After 2 repeats, I have this part left. Let's do it together. So this is my corner stitch. We are going to double crochet in all the stitches till the chain 1 stitch. Make 1 double crochet in each stitch. Be careful, you don't miss any. Now we are going to chain 1, skip this chain 1 space, double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. It's time to make a cable stitch now. So we are going to skip the next 2 stitches, front post, triple crochet in the next. Yarn over twice, 
this is our next stitch where we're going to front post triple crochet go below the bar from the front and come out on the other side like this then yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two in this next stitch as well we are going to make a front post triple crochet so yarn over twice again this is the stitch we are working into so we are going to go below this bar go between the double crochets below this bar come out on the other side yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now we are going to go back to these two skip stitches and work in them. So we have worked in this double crochet last. This is our first skip stitch. Yarn over twice. This is our first skip stitch. Go below the bar. Come out on the other side. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. This is the second bar or the second skip stitch. So make sure you find the second skip stitch correctly first. It is right before these two first front post triple crochets that we have made. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook. Go below the bar. Come out on the other side. Yarn over pull through. Yarn over pull through two. Yarn over pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So we have made the entire cable. So we can see this is where we have worked our cable. The stitch is going around the post. In the next double crochet, Make a double crochet in the next double crochet as well. Make a double crochet, and now we have reached a chain one space. So we're going to chain one, skip the space, and double crochet in the very last double crochet to end this round. So we have ended by a double crochet in this last double crochet and now we will join by a slip stitch to the third chain of the chain 3. So this is the end of round 5 or our first cable round, I'm sorry round 6. Hey guys, if you are enjoying the video so far, I will be very grateful if you can press on the like button so this video can reach more people. Thank you, now let's continue. So we have reached round 7, we are going to begin with a chain 3. Now we are going to double crochet in all the stitches till we reach this chain 2 gap. So every time we are making round 7 or the second cable round, we will double crochet in all the stitches till we reach this chain 2 stitch. I will meet you there. So now I have reached the chain 2 space. In this space, we will make our corner stitch which is 2 double crochet, chain 2 and 2 double crochet all made in the chain 2 space. So after we make our corner stitch, we are going to begin a repeat pattern for this round. So from the next double crochet, keep making double crochet till you reach this chain 1 space. So I will meet you at the chain 1 space. So I have made a double crochet in the double crochet right before this chain 1 space. So now we are going to chain 1 skip the space and into the next double crochet we are going to make a double crochet into this next double crochet as well make a double crochet and now you will notice we have reached our cable stitches so in all the four stitches we are going to make one front post double crochet so we are going to start with this very first stitch we can just follow this v down so this is the stitch we worked into this is the next v and this is the next stitch. So into the post of this stitch, we will make a front post double crochet. Then find the next stitch, which is always hidden. So we will move aside these two top stitches. And at the bottom, if we stretch with the hands, we can easily find the second skip stitch that we have worked into. Then we are going to work into this post and this post. We are going to make front post double crochets this time. So let's do it together. So you can just follow the V down if we get confused. This is our first cable stitch. In that we are going to make a front post double crochet yarn over. Go below the bar of this stitch because we are making front post double crochets. So let's do it again. Yarn over. Go below the bar. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So we are just going to work these stitches loosely. Don't make them too tight. 
So after our first front post double crochet, we are going to find our next stitch. This is the next V and the next stitch is always hidden. So just move aside the top stitches and move aside this first stitch that we have made like this and we can see the post clearly. We are going to yarn over and make sure that you go below the post of the stitch. So we will go from the front below the post like this, come out on the other side, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And to work into these two posts is very easy now. Yarn over, find the first post, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, find the second post, go below the post. So we have made four front post double crochets. Now next we have a double crochet. In this double crochet, we will make a double crochet. In the next double crochet as well, we will make a double crochet. And now we are going to chain 1. Skip this next chain 1 space. Double crochet in the next stitch. And continue making double crochet in all the stitches till we reach this chain 2 space. Here we will make a corner stitch. So work double crochets till the last double crochet here. I will meet you there. So now I have reached the chain 2 space and here we will work the next corner stitch. So make 2 double crochet, chain 2 and 2 double crochet all in the same space. So I am making it fast because we know how to make it. So we will repeat the same pattern once on this side and once on this side. So I will meet you once we finish. So we are going to start by a double crochet right after the corner stitch. Continue making double crochets till we reach the chain 1 space. Chain 1, skip over the chain 1 space. Make a double crochet in each of the next two. Then we will make 4 front post double crochet. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 1, skip the next stitch. Double crochet in all the stitches till the chain 2 space. In the chain 2 space, we are going to make a corner stitch. Repeat 2 more times. So after 2 repeats, I have finished my corner stitch. We have the rest of the round remaining. Let's work it together. We are going to double crochet in this next stitch. Make sure you don't miss it. So it always gets hidden. This is the V that we are going to work into. And double crochet in all the stitches till we reach this chain 1 space. So now I have reached this chain 1 space, we are going to yarn over, skip the space, double crochet in the next double crochet, always working below both the loops of the V, double crochet in the next double crochet as well. And now we have reached our cable stitches. So we are going to start making a front post double crochet in the first stitch, then in the second hidden stitch, then in this stitch and then in this stitch. We are going to follow the Vs so that we work in the right stitches. So make a front post double crochet in this stitch first. So we are going to go from the front below the post, come out on the other side to the front, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over first, find the second post or the hidden post. So these are the top two, move them aside. Right here is our post. So don't work into the stitch, we are going to work into the post like this. So we have made another front post double crochet. In the next post here, we are going to make a front post double crochet. And in this last post as well, we are going to make a front post double crochet. So now we have two double crochets left before the chain one space. In the next double crochet, make a double crochet. In the next double crochet, make a double crochet. We have reached a chain 1 space, we are going to chain 1, skip over the space, double crochet in the next stitch. So we have finished the round and we are going to join by a slip stitch to the third chain. So you can see this is where we have made our last double crochet. This is our chain 3 of the previous round, chain 3 of this round. Join by a slip stitch to end 
this round. Now we are going to go to our last cable round or round 8. Begin the round with a chain 3. Double crochet in the next double crochet and double crochet in all the stitches till we reach this chain 2 gap here. So I will meet you here. So I made a double crochet right in this last double crochet. In this chain 2 gap we are going to make a corner stitch which is 2 double crochet, chain 2 and 2 double crochet. So after the corner stitch we are going to begin a repeat pattern for this round. So after the corner stitch in this next stitch begin making double crochet till you reach this first chain 1 space that we see here. So I will meet you once we reach here. So I have reached my chain 1 space, made a double crochet in the last double crochet. We are going to chain 1, skip the chain 1 space, double crochet in the next double crochet, double crochet in this next double crochet as well. And just like the last round, we are going to make 4 front post double crochets in the next 4 stitches. So let's begin our front post double crochets. So we have made two double crochets. This is our first cable stitch. In this we are going to make a front post double crochet yarn over. Go from the front below the post, come out on the other side, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Now it is very easy to see all the four because they are in a row. In the next front post double crochet, we will make a front post double crochet. In the next, we are going to make a front post double crochet. And in the next or the last fourth front post double crochet, we are making a fourth front post double crochet of this round. This is our next double crochet. In this, we are going to make a double crochet. And in the next double crochet as well, make a double crochet. So now we have reached our chain 1 space. We are going to chain 1, skip over the space, double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in all double crochets, one in each, till we reach the chain 2 space here. I will meet you once we reach there. So I have double crochet in the last double crochet and reached my chain 2 space. Here we will make a corner stitch which is 2 double crochet, chain 2, and two double crochet all in the same stitch. So we are just going to continue repeating this pattern. In the stitch after the corner stitch start making double crochet till you reach the chain 1 space. Over that make a chain 1 skip the space. Double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Make 4 front post double crochet in the next 4 stitches. Then we will make a double crochet in the next, a double crochet in the next. We have reached our chain 1 space, so we will chain 1, skip the space, double crochet in the next stitch. Continue making double crochet till we reach our chain 2 space here. In the chain 2 space, we are going to make a corner stitch which is 2 double crochet, chain 2 and 2 double crochet all in the chain 2 space. Repeat this 2 more times and I will meet you there. So I finished repeating the pattern 2 more times. We still have the remaining part of the round left. Let's do it together. In this next stitch, we are going to make a double crochet. Continue making double crochets till you reach this chain 1 space. I will meet you there. So I have reached the chain 1 space. We are going to chain 1, skip over the space, double crochet in the next double crochet, double crochet in the next double crochet. And now we have reached a cable stitch. So very easy. We are going to make a front post double crochet in all 4 stitches. This is the first one. This is the last double crochet we worked into. This is our first post stitch. Go from the front, below the bar, come out on the other side. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Find the next post or the next bar. Go below it, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. This is my third. We are working a front post double crochet. And now make a front post double crochet in this last or the fourth stitch. So after our four front post double crochet, we are going to make a double crochet in the next double crochet. 
double crochet in the next double crochet as well. Now we have reached our chain 1 space. We are going to chain 1, skip over the space, double crochet in the last double crochet to end this round by a slip stitch to the third chain of the chain 3. So after we double crochet in the last double crochet, slip stitch to the third chain of the chain 3. And this is the end of our third cable round. So now we are just going to repeat the three cable rounds for pattern. Round 6, round 7 and round 8. Keep repeating round 6, 7 and 8 till you reach the size of the square that you want. So on the screen, I am going to leave some general sizes. You can always decide how big or small you want your square to be. So I will meet you once you finish all the repeats of round 6, 7 and 8. So I just want to explain about counting the stitches. The center part is going to remain the same on all four sides. So this is the chain 1, then the 2 double crochet, the 4 cable stitches, the 2 double crochet, the chain 1. This part will remain the same on this side, this side, this side and this side. Now these stitches are going to change. The, the corner stitch is also going to remain the same. It will always be 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet. But the counts of these stitches will change. So they will increase by 4 on every side. So between both the corner stitches, the stitch count is going to increase by 4 on this side, 4 on this side, 4 on this side and 4 on this side. 16 in all for every round. So I will meet you once you finish all the repeats. So now our square is ready. We have repeated all the rounds. So on the screen, you can see my square. So once we finish all the rounds, we are going to leave about 4 to 5 inches of the yarn and cut it. Then we will pull out a loop by just tugging on this crochet hook. Then we are going to weave this yarn end in. Weave in any extra yarn ends. We are going to place the square with the right side facing us. That means all the cable stitches of the square are going to face this way or the right side. Now on the other side or the wrong side, we have the tail end of the slip knot that we started with here. So what we are going to do is fold the square in half. So just fold it like this. Now the wrong side is going to face us. It doesn't really matter whether you have kept the square like this, like this, like this or like this because all the sides are the same. Once we fold, this is what it is going to look like. So now we are going to leave a small gap for the armholes on top here and on top here. So this will be our armhole and this will be our armhole. Now we will place a stitch marker here and here. So on the screen, I have left the approximate sizes. You can decide how big or small you want the armhole to be. Now we are going to start closing from the bottom till we reach the stitch marker. So we are going to sew both these sides together till we reach the stitch marker here and do the same on this side as well. Once we finish closing this side and this side, we are going to open up our shrug. A shrug is going to look somewhat like this. Now we are just going to turn it inside out so that the right side faces us. So remember, on this side, the right side should face us. So we should see all the cables clearly. Now the right side faces us and we are going to start making the border. So this is my shrug and I have just turned it like this. So what you are seeing is my stitch marker here. So starting from the bottom, we are going to begin closing till we reach the stitch marker here. On the top here, we have an armhole gap. So if we measure, mine is about 7 inches. So you can make this as big or small as you want. On the top here, it is closed and the bottom ends are open. So to close the side, we are going to take a piece of yarn that is about 25 to 30 inches. Take your yarn needle. Now we are going to place both these sides exactly against one another and we are going to close them exactly till we reach the stitch marker. So let's do it together. I am going to start closing from this chain 2 space. So insert your hook into the start here then tuck on the needle. We are going to leave a small tail end. If you want you can tie a knot and we will weave this end in later. So now I am going to go into the first double crochet on the first side here and into the first double crochet in the second side. Tug on the needle. Come to the second double crochet this side and then on this side. Tug on the needle. 
So the loops will lie on top. We are going to go first into the first side and then into the second side. Tug on the needle. Continue in the same way till you reach the stitch marker. Now you can do this any way you want. This is the stitch that I am using. So you can see I have reached the stitch marker here. We are just going to go one extra time at the end here from the first side to the second side with the tapestry needle so that this is a little secure and now we are going to weave this yarn end in. To weave it in we are just going to go three to four times in the opposite direction with our tapestry needle. Now we want to make sure that we are only going through one side that means only this top side not both the sides or we are going to sew the shrug closed and won't be able to fit into it. So just go three or four times in any direction that you like and then we are going to take a scissor and then cut this yarn off. So once we finish the first side we are going to turn to the second side and start closing from the bottom here. We are closing on the wrong side again. So place both these sides exactly against one another. Start closing till you reach the stitch marker here. Then you will weave the yarn end in. Now remember that the armhole gap on top here is exactly the same as the first side. Because if it is different, then both your armhook sizes will be different. So I will meet you once you finish closing this side as well. So this is our shrug now. After sewing these two sides closed and these two sides closed, we have turned it to the right side. That means the right side faces us or the cables face us for the border. We are going to attach the yarn at the bottom here. Then go up the first side and come down the second side. End by a slip stitch. So in the same way, we are going to go up, continue, come down and work our rounds as many times as we want. So let's do it together. For the sleeve, we are going to attach the yarn at the seam here and work in rounds like this. Attach the yarn at the seam here and work in rounds like this. So this is what our shrug looks like right now. We are going to attach the yarn at the bottom here. The sleeves are here and here. So remember we are working on the right side. So this is the bottom of my shrug. You can see the back of the cables here because the cables face on the outside or the right side of the shrug. Now this is also the right side of the shrug. Just on the inside is the wrong side. So we are going to attach the yarn somewhere here and start working like this. We will go upwards. So decide where you want to attach the yarn. So I am attaching it here. Insert your hook into the stitch where you want to attach the yarn. So you are going to go below both the loops of the weave. Now catch the new yarn in a loop form on the hook and pull it through. Next we are going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This is our first double crochet. So I have turned the shrug to work easily. So now we are just going to double crochet in all the stitches. So we have worked in this stitch, go to the next stitch here, make a double crochet. Double crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to continue making all the double crochets till we reach the seam and I will meet you there. So now I have reached the seam where we had joined to make the armhole. So I've double crochet in the last double crochet. I'm just going to double crochet once in the gap after it. Then double crochet in this next gap. And continue making double crochets in all the double crochets. So you can work across the seam however you want, it really doesn't matter. At the end of the round, you are looking for a multiple of 4. If you don't have it, it doesn't matter, we will adjust it at the end. So I just want to show you how I am working the double crochets into the chain 1 and all the cable stitches. So in this chain 1 space, we are going to make 1 double crochet in it. Now double crochet in the next double crochet. Double crochet in the next double crochet and now we have reached our cable stitches so in the top of the stitch into the V we are going to work double crochets as normal so go below both the loops of the V and work your double crochets as normal working to the third stitch I'm sorry and now into the fourth So now we are going to continue making one double crochet in this double crochet, one double crochet in this double crochet, one double crochet in this space and so on till the end of the round which is here. So at the end of the round we are going to join by a slip stitch to the third chain of the chain 3. 
Now we are going to begin the next round. Round 2. From round 2 onwards we are going to begin with a chain 2. So 1 and 2. This is not going to count as a double crochet. So now we are going to begin working on our ribbing and continue repeating round 2 for pattern as many times as we want. So let's begin. We are going to yarn over and go into the post of this first stitch and make a front post double crochet. So go from the front, go below the post, come out on the other side, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. You already know how to make front post double crochets from before. In the next stitch as well, we are working a front post double crochet. In the next stitch as well, we are working a front post double crochet. So after we make three front post double crochets, in the very next stitch, we are going to make a back post double crochet. So yarn over. For a back post double crochet, we are going to come from behind like this. So usually from the front, we work into the bar like this. From the back, we are going to come between the stitches in the same way, go over the bar and then go back below. Now this is the bar of the stitch that we are working into. This is my tail end. Ignore it. Then we are going to yarn over, sorry, and pull through. We have three loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So now we are just going to continue repeating this pattern of three front post double crochet and one back post double crochet. Let's do it again. So we can see we have worked the back post double crochet in this stitch. From the next stitch, this is our first front post double crochet. This is our second front post double crochet. This is our third front post double crochet. And in this next stitch, we are going to make a back post double crochet. So yarn over. From the back, insert your hook between the double crochet posts. Go over the double crochet post and then go back below. Now this is the double crochet we are working into. Yarn over and then pull through. We have three loops. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So continue repeating the pattern of three front post double crochet and one back post double crochet till the end of the round and I will meet you once we finish. So I have reached the end of the round. I had a multiple of four. Now in case you don't have a multiple of four, you can work into this chain two stitch or add a few extra stitches or you can skip over the last few stitches if you like and join by a slip stitch to the first front post double crochet. So you're going to end with three front post double crochet, one back post double crochet and then join by a slip stitch to this first front post double crochet. So this is my chain 2, it is not counting as a stitch. Go below both the loops of the V, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. So now we are just going to repeat round 2 for pattern as many times as we want. So let's begin round 3 with a chain 2. This is just an exactly same repeat of round 2. So we're going to go to the first front post double crochet and work in it. The chain 2 is not a stitch. So make a front post double crochet in the front post double crochet. Make a front post double crochet in the next front post double crochet. And front post double crochet in the third front post double crochet. So you can see next we have a back post double crochet. We are going to back post double crochet in it. So to see the stitch clearly, you can use your fingers to spread the stitch apart. Yarn over. We are going to go from the back, go below the, sorry, go above the post and then go back below like this. Then we are going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. So we are going to continue repeating this pattern. Make three front post double crochet in the three front post double crochet and in the back post double crochet we are going to make a back post double crochet. Continue to the end of the round and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of round 3. So I have ended by making 3 front post double crochets in all the front post double crochets. Then a back post double crochet in the back post double crochet. So this is the end of the round. Then join by a slip stitch to the first front post double crochet of the round. This is the chain 2 not counting as a stitch. This is the first front post double crochet yarn over pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. We will begin the next round with a chain 2. This is not going to count as a stitch. 
front post double crochet in these three then back post double crochet in the back post double crochet and continue so on till the end of the round and by slip stitch to the first front post double crochet that we make. So repeat round 2 as many times as you like. So I will meet you once I finish and let you know how many repeats I have made. I have decided to end the edging at round 5. So I have made 1 round of double crochet and 4 round of ribbing stitches and ended at round 5. Now we are going to leave about 5 inches of the yarn, cut it, pull out a loop by tugging on the hook. We will weave this yarn end in. So now we are going to make the border for the sleeve. So this is my sleeve and I am going to attach the yarn somewhere here. So this is the seam that we had made to make the armhole. So I am going to start with the border here. Near the seam, insert your hook in the stitch where you want to attach the yarn. Catch the yarn in a loop form on the hook, pull it through. Now we are going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Our first round is a double crochet round. So double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in all the stitches in a round. So I will meet you once we finish this round. I have reached the end of the round. I have decided to skip this last stitch because now I have a multiple of 4. And I am just going to join by a slip stitch to the third chain of the chain 3. So this is the end of round 1. You can always sew this little gap up later if you feel that it is too big. Now all the rounds will remain the same as the border of the shark. We are going to begin with a chain 2. We are going to go back to the same stitch. Make a front post double crochet. Front post double crochet in the next stitch. Front post double crochet in the next stitch. Now we are going to make a back post double crochet in the next stitch. So 3 front post double crochet, 1 back post double crochet. Continue till the end of the round. End by a slip stitch to the first front post double crochet of the round. So I have reached the end of the round and we are going to end by a slip stitch to the first front post double crochet. Now we are going to continue with this round. So repeat round 2 as many times as you want for the sleeve exactly the same as the center or you can make it longer or shorter as you wish so i will meet you once you finish so for this armhole border i have made about six rounds in all which is one more round than the center so now we are going to leave about five to six inches of this yarn cut it and pull out a loop by tugging on this loop so now we are going to take this and weave it in so we are going to make the border for the second armhole in the same way Make sure you start with the same number of double crochet in round 1 and repeat the rounds the same number of times. So I will repeat so I have 6 rounds in all. So I will meet you once you finish this. Your cocoon shrug is now ready. I hope it was easy to make and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Here are some similar videos you may enjoy. See you next time.